When you get a lot of emails in your Outlook program, you want to be able to rely on the subject field to quickly identify which email is about what topic and when you have a large email thread with a communication going back and forth you want to have a consistent subject to be able to reference and track that conversation but also with a meaningful subject so if you ever have to go back to it in history then you can find out oh yes this was the time when you were asking about this or we were discussing this particular topic. So if you get a subject like this where it's saying something very generic that has no meaning and everybody in my case would be calling or emailing about their computer. So to have a subject that says my computer or their computer name it means nothing to me at all. So we want to change the subject. In this case we can see that they're talking about Adobe PDF documents that they can't open. So it would make a lot more sense in this case to have the subject saying Adobe for example. It doesn't have to have any more detail than that, just Adobe. That's much better of a subject than what it is currently. I'm Daniel from Twin Bytes, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to change the subject field in the email before you even reply to it. So you can see if you hit reply, you can very easily go in here and just change the subject to Adobe or whatever you want before you hit send. The problem with this is that your reply in the subject is going to have Adobe, but the subject in the original email that eventually you may delete or file somewhere else will still have the original subject field. And if we scroll down a bit, you'll see at the bottom, uh, in my case here, the original subject still shows as what we're replying to. I don't want that. I want to be able to change this subject here as well before I reply. And obviously, you can see here, I can just uh, type in whatever I want here and make it look like that. and even if I go like this and type it in, this is still not good enough. This is what it's going to end up looking like, but I had to manually change everything. But the original email still has the original subject. So let's get out of here and I'll show you how to change this. So the first thing you want to do is double click on the email to open it up. Then what you want to do is under the move section, there's an option here for more move options. And when you click on that, you'll see edit message. It doesn't look like anything happened, but what happened is that it's now editable. So I can actually click in here and type in what I want the subject to be. Then I can hit the save button up here or file and save, whichever you like to do and exit out of here. And we can now see the subject says Adobe instead of what it originally was. Now, if I hit reply, you can see it says re the new subject field. And at the bottom, the message I'm replying to shows the subject as the new subject that I want it to be. So that's how you can very easily change the subject and keep that email thread going right from the beginning with a proper identifiable subject that's more meaningful to both of you. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you did find it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Even better, give it a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.